Hello Blazers, City your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, it's stay. Welcome to a brand new video and welcome once again to the center of beautiful St. Petersburg. Now today guys, once again, like usual, we're gonna be going out to the hoods of St. Petersburg, to like the city north, almost to the outskirts, because there's one particular place that I've been wanting to visit in St. Petersburg for years now. Basically, there's a certain building that was built like uh, at least like seven years ago or so that literally has the shape, and I don't know how to put this nicely, so I'm just gonna say it, of a male genitalia. <laughs> of a male uh, penis. I'm not the one who gave it that characteristic. Actually, I've been following this Russian uh, blogger for a while and he did like a report on it. I've been fascinated by it for years and I decided that today is the day where I'm gonna take a trip and actually uh, check it out for myself. So <laughs> yeah guys, join me on the journey to the <laughs> penis building of St. Petersburg. Let's go. <laughs> Alright people, here we are, we just made it out. Here we are at the uh, Azirki metro station. I've actually been here before because like a good friend of mine lives here, uh, you know, in the hoods. And as you guys can see, definitely we're in some Soviet uh, neighborhoods, which is very different to what you see in, uh, you know, central St. Petersburg. And I like it, it makes me feel at home, like I'm back at home in Chelyabinsk. Now in the metro you saw that guy that was playing like the drums and uh, doing throat singing, I think he was. I recorded him, I didn't have any cash on me, so I didn't know what to do with myself, you know. And the guy was like, it's okay. And I think he was mute, so what he did is that he came up to me and uh, he asked me for my phone, opened up Instagram on my phone and I was like pointing at myself like, me? And he was like, no, me. And uh, he typed his Instagram into my phone, so I think he'd probably like me to <laughs> show you guys his Instagram. So yeah, I didn't give him like 200 rubles or whatever that I would have on me. Otherwise, if I used cash, yeah, there you go. That's his Instagram. But yeah, cool guy. And uh, he made that train ride absolutely delightful. So yeah. All right, now let's actually, I really don't know where the fuck I'm going or where I am. So uh, I'll catch you guys back later when I look up the directions on, uh, on uh, Google Maps and see in which direction the penis house of St. Petersburg is. And first things first, one thing I do have to say about the Zirki is that walking here definitely is a more pleasant experience than in the sense of St. Petersburg. Because the sidewalks are so tiny in the sense of St. Petersburg, it is actual pain whenever the snow's, snow's melting or whatever. Here we actually have some space, which is nice. And uh, one thing I also like is these Soviet buildings. Just see how freaking huge this one is. Like it starts all the way there and it goes all the way to around here. I mean, it's not like this is something I've never seen before. You know, I've been around and also since I've been to Serbia, I've seen crazy kami blocks, right? But yeah, you know, I live in the center of St. Petersburg. I, I, don't, I don't really see kami blocks every single day, should I say, right? So seeing this, yeah, brings back memories and uh, makes me feel at home, you know? One minute later. All right, guys, I might have spoke too soon about uh, <laughs> the sidewalks being nice here because I just walked all the way to like a gas station with a McDonald's. And now I'm completely in the middle of buttfuck nowhere. I think I gotta go back to be honest, because I'm literally walking. I mean, the sidewalk ends right there, so uh, yeah, I made a massive mistake. I think. Let's go. Let's go back. Two days later. All right, here we are on the uh, right side of the road now. Now, if you guys look at here, uh, it doesn't. It, it, I know it looks like it's a dirt road up here, but it's actually something they do. Even in the sense now, they throw dirt on the ice so that people don't slip. It's a Russian technology. But anyway, here we are. We can actually take a closer look at this building. Yeah, guys, so here we are, and we have a classic, like, uh, <laughs> classic image of what a Russian spring looks like, you know. Uh, you know, it's like one of those pictures where it's like, you know, feeling bad about yourself, go outside, have a, have a walk, and uh, then you remember that you live in Eastern Europe. This is what happens, basically. But anyway, yeah, check this out. Some beautiful kami blocks in this neighborhood. I like this uh, turquoise color right there. Pretty nice. We're actually on Yesenian Street right now, which is named after a famous uh, Russian poet. And that is the street where the penis house is on. I literally cannot wait to see the cock house of St. Petersburg, you guys. Are you guys excited? Just as excited as me. Are you guys throbbing to see this fucking house? Because I am.
Okay guys, I think this is it. I think we're actually coming up to it. I'll be damned if this is not it. I cannot believe this guys. The journey of this entire channel, the journey of seven plus years, is finally coming to an end. Now you guys might think that I've worked on videos hard for this channel and everything. I work on my YouTube career per se to make money or uh, wear cool clothes. That is not the case. The entire YouTube journey to this point has been leading up to uh, visiting the penis house of St. Petersburg. And we're actually here right now. Oh, and there's a statue right there. I did not expect that. Let's check it out. Here you go. Here's a statue of uh, Sergei Yesenin, a legendary Russian poet. I guess this was uh, Yesenin's dream uh, all this time to be in France of the penis house of the Saint of Saint Petersburg. And so was mine. And here I am. Oh my god, the wind here is fucking insane. <laughs> Whatever, all I'm trying to say is that, look, before you guys, you know, shit on me in the comments, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody who lives in this building or anything. And admittedly, coming up to it here, right, I mean, it looks all right. You know, it looks better than my fucking comic blog back in Chilevins, for sure. But, you know, it's like uh, one of those classic buildings in the same realm as in like Munrina or Kudrova or any other district with new buildings outside of the city where everything is kind of soulless, not so interesting. But this building right here, I think you can call it anything but soulless. It is, it's, it's, it's in the shape of a penis. <laughs> There's not much more soul, soulful that you can, you can get, you know? You know, as I'm standing here in front of the penis house of St. Petersburg, I'm really thinking how we should tackle this building, because, uh, you know, I understand this is one of the testicles here. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go in between, uh, sort of in the, uh, in the scrotum area, and, uh, penetrate, and, uh, let's see. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. All right, here we are, guys, in the middle, I guess, of the, or at the shaft <laughs> of the cock building of St. Petersburg. Now, admittedly, it's actually not that bad. Look, like, they have a Christmas tree of their own here in the yard, which is, it was just pretty nice. I don't have that in my central, in the yard of my central St. Petersburg apartment building, right? So, as you guys can understand right here, look, it's a bit of a clickbait uh, title from the blogger that I read this building about originally from, because if you guys actually pay attention, you know, this side is supposed to be like the testicle and it's actually connected to the main parts of the building. The head, I guess, what they call, but this building is actually a separate building. So there's a gap right there and they're not connected. So technically it's a cog building with only one testicle. <laughs> and when the other testicle is separated. If we're being completely serious though, like this building right here by a lot of these people who are, you know, concerned with like urban planning and everything or architecture and stuff, they've just been saying a lot of crap about um, how essentially this building is a nightmare in terms of just how it's planned because it's like sort of closed off for no reason and the entire just area is just a giant parking lot. And I mean, yeah, I get what they're saying to a certain degree. It's basically the exact same thing as with any of the other districts that we've visited before where you have uh, you know these buildings which are like 25 stories tall if like the sun comes from this side or whatever and you covered by the other building you essentially never get in sun for example it's not the very best plan in ever and i <laughs> actually yeah this is a bit this is this kind of sucks i mean and you guys gotta understand right so right now it's like uh, noon basically so it's like the least busiest you'll ever see this place right and it's already freaking just packed it's, it's, it's absolutely packed by cars and i just don't understand how the fuck they managed to drive here because there's only one tiny road and there's like 300 cars parked i mean maybe this is actually this actually shows that they don't because this guy is covered in snow that car's covered in snow all of them are fucking <laughs> none of these cars have been moved in the last six years so uh i guess yeah they just don't Man, really people, do people really not give a fuck about their cars in this neighborhood? What is going on? This, this poor Toyota Celica. It's not been touched in the last 50 years. Man, I guess this is what happens when you have too much cars parked and you cannot get out. Here's another one right there as well. And like this, this is just not a coincidence. And it's not like old rusty ladders or anything. It's proper decent cars, right? So this cannot be a coincidence. No, 
another funny fact about this building is that actually when that blogger that first posted about this building being shaped like a penis, uh, Varlamov, who's like a famous Russian YouTuber and stuff, initially when he posted about it, uh, actually the architect of this building and the company that built it got mad and responded to it and they said that basically they called him a pervert that's obsessed with like male genitalia and basically sort of implied that he's gay basically. <laughs> and they uh, said that only a perverted mind can see that this building looks like a penis essentially. I really do hope that uh, the architects and the creators of this building will not get mad at me once I uh, upload this video because uh, it's you know it's a, it's an old story at this point but uh, again before even this video is even uploaded I just want to apologize guys and again in no way I'm trying to make fun of the people that live in this building it's perfectly fine I think it's just a little bit funny to point out the shape of this building I mean if I lived in this house right here which honestly it doesn't seem too bad if I lived in this building I would be making fun of the fact that it's shaped like a cock so yeah please do not get mad at me Anyways guys, before we leave here, uh, what can I say about the uh, cock, the penis house of St. Petersburg? I can definitely say one thing, it's one of the buildings ever made, that is definitely for sure. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, I don't know. To be quite honest, this video is fucking stupid, it's just... <laughs> guys, it's the start of the year, I'm running out of ideas, okay, give me a break. I just thought this was gonna be fun, and uh, the idea of a house being shaped like a penis was hilarious to me because I'm literally a 12 year old boy on the inside so yeah uh, I'm actually freezing my absolute ass off I thought it was gonna be a bit warmer today so let's go back to the metro station and maybe I'm gonna round off the video here and uh yeah it's nice one minute later anyways people we're back in the city center now it is very very nice to be back and um, I guess this is pretty much why we're gonna round off this video I hope you guys enjoy this uh, little journey to the tip of the uh, penis house of St. Petersburg. If you guys did enjoy today's video, then uh, as always, please make sure to, you know, slap the like on it as well. If you guys want to support me additionally, go to the link down in the description to my Patreon, donate to it. I would gladly appreciate it. It will help me out a lot. And yeah, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay. I'm actually getting run over, everybody. Bye.